Hey, magandang buhay! So ako si Sir Ben at narito ako upang i-discuss sa inyo ang geometric sequence. How to identify the nth term of a geometric sequence. Okay, so ready ka na? Okay, so that is great. So yung video um, lesson na to, it involves three examples. Okay, so after mo matapos yung three examples na yon, I am pretty sure actually kahit doon pa lang sa pangalawa, gets mo na yung topic na ito. Okay, so let's start. Example number one, determine the seventh term of the geometric sequence when the first term is seven. And the common ratio is 2. So, kapag ka identify yung nth term ng isang geometric sequence, in our case, yung pang pito, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. So, again, yung mga nandyan, hindi na bago. Bago lang actually dyan yung R. Bakit hindi na bago, Sir Ben? Kasi nga, nanggaling na kayo sa arithmetic sequence na kung saan um, na-discuss na sa inyo, nakapag-solve na kayo ng mga uh, problems that involves arithmetic sequence. So dito, yung R lang dito is yung common ratio. Ito yung uh, tawag dito, yung number, yung constant number na minumultiply mo sa given number to attain the next number. Okay? So let's try to solve this one. Let's start dun sa mga alam na natin. Yung first term, obvious naman na yung first term natin is 7. Okay? Susunod naman tayo yung ratio. Common ratio is 2. Given naman siya. So ibig sabihin yung R, palitan na natin ng 2. And yung N, syempre, ito yung 7 dito. Okay, so ito yung magiging value ng n natin. Okay? So, um, let's try to solve this one. Siyempre, yung exponent muna, yung 7 minus 1, magiging 6. Simplify natin. Again, hindi siya 7 times 2 muna. Kung hindi, dapat 2 raised to 6 muna. So, that would be 64. And 64 times 7, and that would be 440. So, starting from 7, 7 times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. So, yung pang 7, that would be 440. Next example tayo. So we have, what is the nth term of the geometric sequence 2, 8, 32, and so on and so forth. So again, dito, ang pinakaiba niya doon sa first problem is, or doon sa first um, example is that, hindi given yung common ratio dito. Okay? So yun yung i-identify natin. So for us to solve for this one, same lang naman yung, yung formula na gagamitin natin, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So again, yung a sub 1 natin, which is yung first term, is yung eto yung first number sa sequence natin, which is 2. Yung R, since given naman sa ating example na geometric sequence, yung 2, 8, 32, and so on and so forth, then yung common ratio is easily identified by dividing the second term by the first term. So in our case, that would be 8 divided by 2, which will give us 4. Ibig sabihin, yung R, palitan na natin ng 4. Yung N, syempre, eto, yung 9. So, simplify natin. Yung exponent muna, that would be 8. And then, 4 raised to 8. Yung sagot, i-multiply mo ng 2. So, yung magiging sagot natin is 131,072. Ibig sabihin, starting from 2, 2, 8, 32, times 4, times 4, times 4, times 4, times 4, times 4. Ito nyan is yung 131,072. Down to our last example, di ba? Napakadali lang ng geometric sequence. So, what is the 11th term of the of the sequence? 3 fourths, negative 1 half, 1 third, and so on and so forth. So, again, given na geometric sequence ito, we can easily identify the, val uh, the value of R. And for us to identify the 11th term of that given sequence, same formula pa rin naman tayo. Okay? So, yung A sub 1 dito, syempre, that would be 3 fourths. Yung R, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa second example, um, second term divided by first term. In our case, that would be negative 1 half divided by 3 fourths. So again, complex fraction yan, gagawin ko, negative 1 half divided by 3 fourths. So pag nag-divide tayo ng fraction, yung 3 fourths, i-reciprocate ko siya, and then proceed to multiplication. So our uh, our answer now for the value of R is negative 2 thirds. So ibig sabihin, yung R, palitan mo na siya ng negative 2 thirds. And yung N, syempre, eto na yan, yung 11. No? So, again, yung 11 minus 1 dito, that would be 10. So, how to do this manually? Kayang-kayang gawin ng manual. So, paano yan? So, yung negative 2 thirds, raise to 10 muna tayo. So, syempre, kapag yung negative 2 thirds, raise mo sa 10, ang magiging sagot ay positive. Tama? So, ang gagawin ko niya dito, um, power of a fraction, uh, tawo dito, um, loss of exponents tayo. So, that would be 2 raise to 10 over 3 raise to 10. Ngayon siya. Ngayon, ito naman, yung 3 over 4, or 3 fourths, gawin ko siyang 3 over 2 squared. Dito, pwede na tayong mag-cancel. Yung 3 at saka yung 3 raised to 10, pwede na mag-cancel yan. So, yung 3 raised to 10, magiging 3 raised to 9. Yung 2 squared at saka yung 2 raised to 10, pwede na mag-cancel yan. 
So, yung 2 raised to 10 ngayon magiging 2 raised to 8. Therefore, yung uh, 11th term ng sequence natin is 2 raised to 8 over 3 raised to 9. Or kung gusto mo pang itawag dito, i-express yan na kung saan hindi siya, wala siyang exponents, ito yung magiging sagot natin. 256 over 19,683. So, napakadali, napakasimple lang ng identifying the nth term of a geometric sequence. Kung baga, wala siyang kahirap-hirap, okay? Madaling madali lang siya. Again, sana may natutunan at may napulot ka dito sa video lesson na to. And with that, maraming salamat sa pakikinig and magandang buhay.